Summer, a great time to relax and enjoy the finer things in life like the movies. And our movie guy, Will Meyer, shares his picks for the movies that you might want to rush out to see these next few months. I'll be seeing four to five movies a week, yeah, nonstop. So, uh, you know, not always good ones, but hopefully there's a lot of good ones this time. Solo, Star Wars Story, yeah, this is the origin story of one of Hollywood's most beloved characters, Han Solo. And this is, uh, we're getting a young version of Han Solo this time, played by Alden Ehrenreich. This seems like a surefire success, but it did have a troubled shoot. Uh, the directors were famously fired and then replaced with Ron Howard. Uh, also, there were rumors that Alden Ehrenreich really wasn't cutting the mustard as Han Solo, but now there have been some critic screenings, and uh, critics and audiences are saying that he's great, that it's funny, that it's thrilling, uh, that also that it's just a film that has a great supporting cast, too. Uh, Donald Glover's playing Lando Calrissian, and he's already getting his own spinoff, so all those reasons make me really excited to see it. Three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball, and we are going to rob it. Ocean's 8, yeah, this is a spinoff of course of the Ocean's Eleven movies. This time we have an all-female cast uh, and it's a really good one. You have Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Mindy Kaling, and Hathaway. The list just goes on and on. Um, I'm excited for this one mostly because of the cast and I'm certainly excited to see it. I'm very excited to see Incredibles 2. This is uh, of course the long-awaited sequel to the wonderful uh, Pixar animation film. It's coming out 14 years after the release of the original but it's picking up right where that last one left off. This time we have a new character in Baby Jack-Jack who looks like he's gonna be a handful but a lot of fun. Uh, also so Mr. Incredible is staying home with uh, the kids this time while Elastigirl goes out to save the day. Uh, Brad Bird, who directed the last one, is coming back for this one, so that makes me excited. Also, it's Pixar, and I mean, they rarely ever miss, so there's no reason to think this movie will be anything but great. This is a follow-up to Jurassic World, the 2015 film. Uh, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard have to return to the island to rescue dinosaurs after a volcano erupts, and that threatens the dinosaur survival. I'm not that excited about this one. I thought Jurassic World was okay, uh, but two things really do excite me. One is that Jeff Goldblum is returning, and he's the best character in the franchise, in my opinion. And then also it's directed by J.A. Bayona, who brought us a Monster Calls a couple years ago. It's an indie movie that I really, really liked. So uh, this one is not at the top of my list, but I am interested to see it. Mission Impossible Fallout is the sixth installment in the franchise. It, of course, stars Tom Cruise, and it's directed by Christopher McQuarrie, who brought us the last film, Rogue Nation, which was one of the best in the franchise, in my opinion. With the exception of maybe James Bond, I think that this is the best action franchise out there right now. I think it fully delivers on what it promises, which is just pure escapist entertainment. Uh, I think that the set pieces are just really inventive. They're spectacle-driven, uh, and they're very creative. I also think the stunts are great. Tom Cruise famously broke his ankle uh, while filming a stunt for this movie, and people ask, you know, why does he do it? He does it because it looks real to an audience, and it makes it that much more exciting for us. So I will be there opening night to see this one first in line. I am so excited to see Mission Impossible Fallout. It's Grandma. You know you were her favorite, right? Hereditary. I think this is going to be the breakout hit of the summer. This is a little indie film that premiered at Sundance. It's a scary film, uh, but it really impressed and scared a lot of people that I respect and admire. USA Today said, if you ever want to sleep again, avoid this movie. You talk about a movie and say something like that, that tells me you rush out to see this movie. So I'm so excited for Hereditary. I've heard nothing but good things. I hear that it's just not only terrifying, but it's also just a great film. So I'm ready for another Exorcist, another Shining, something like that. Uh, I really can't wait to see this one. Hello. Won't You Be My Neighbor? This is a documentary about the life of Fred Rogers, the creator and star of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, a guy that so many of us were seemingly raised on. So people who watch this trailer and have seen this movie at festivals just really have a strong emotional response to it. A revolutionary guy in so many ways. One, I think he revolutionized television and the way that children learn. Also just a fascinating guy just because he seems so insanely nice. I just wonder how could one person be so kind? So um, I hear that this is a real crowd pleaser and I really can't wait to see it. This is telemarketing. Stick to the script. Sorry to Bother You is the comedy I'm most looking forward to seeing this summer. It premiered at Sundance earlier this year where it was nominated for top awards. It stars Lakeith Stanfield from Atlanta, Tessa Thompson from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, it's a movie where Lakeith plays a telemarketer uh, who discovers success when he starts talking like a white person. And so this propels him to this really macabre universe of success. This movie looks wacky, zany, bizarre, and it has an electric energy. Um, it's an artsy film for sure, but I've seen the trailer for it before a lot of mainstream movies, and mainstream audiences are laughing their tails off at this film, so I can't remember the last time I saw mainstream audiences laugh at stuff that was so weird. So I think this movie has a lot of crossover appeal, and I'm really excited to see it. For more movie reviews, you can head over to my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Will Meyer, the movie guy.